Mit Rammert haben wir durch die Gamerwelt. Hallo und herzlich willkommen. Ich bin's wieder, euer Tom Thompson hier bei Let's Play Today. Und wir machen direkt weiter mit Kapitel 4. Nachdem wir ja so krass geschockt Previously wurden in der letzten Folge. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Das kennen wir alles schon. Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please tell us everything. Hey, it's Delma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being... More than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe! You have a visitor! Und da bekomme ich gleich wieder Gänsehaut. Wir haben gesehen, was mit ihr ist. Das ist so heftig, Leute. Ich kann das noch gar nicht richtig... Äh ich habe das noch gar nicht so richtig realisiert, was da eigentlich passiert ist. Das ist so heftig. Und ich bin gespannt, was mir die Folge jetzt rausbekommen. Was alles so passiert ist, was sich jetzt alles verändert hat. Denn es werden sich viele Dinge sehr krass verändert haben. Eins davon ist die Chloe, die jetzt im Rollstuhl sitzt. Was sehr heftig ist. Episode 4 Dark Room Alter, ist das krass, ey. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. 
You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Das ist so krass. Den Unfall hatte jetzt nicht ihr Vater, sondern sie, weil der Vater ihr ein Auto geschenkt hat. Und sie weiß anscheinend gar nicht, wer Rachel ist. Also, sie spricht halt von dem Mädchen aus, äh, dem Mädchen aus Blackwell und nicht von Rachel, ihrer Freundin. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Do you think so? I uh, haven't kept up with the details. I have more time on my hands than you. Plus, I'm a science nerd. But none of this makes sense. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Da ist wieder der Leuchtturm, der uns ja sehr bekannt ist. Mir zumindest, wenn ihr nicht von Anfang an geschaut habt, dann schaut wirklich von der ersten Folge an. Denn das ist echt sehr, sehr krass, wie sich die ganze Geschichte hier entwickelt. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Krass, Alter. Und äh, was ist das? Was ist das für ein Zimmer? Ist das ein komplett an? Ach, wir sind äh, alles klar. Wir sind nicht oben, wir sind natürlich unten. Also manchmal bin ich auch ein bisschen hohl. Ähm. Das ist das Wasser. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Ich denke an dich, liebe Chloe. Es tut mir so leid, was passiert ist. Ich bin hier für dich, wenn du etwas brauchst. Ich hoffe, dir geht es bald besser und dass wir uns bald sehen, Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, ich wollte, Chloe, ich wollte nur kurz schreiben, damit du weißt, dass ich an dich denke. Ich komme mir wie ein wie eine Null vor, wenn ich sowas wie ich hoffe, es geht dir gut schreibe. Ich weiß, dein Leben ist jetzt anders und ich möchte nicht, dass, dass unsere Freundschaft im Weg steht. Ja, ich war eine Weile nicht in der Nähe, aber das ändert sich bald. Ich hoffe, es geht dir gut in Liebe, Max. Okay. Ähm, das ist heftig. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Wir haben ihr geschrieben, ich hoffe, es geht dir gut, ich hoffe, es geht dir gut. Und derweil sitzt sie im Rollstuhl. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. To me, it, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and destroying the kitchen. Oh my god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> But a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. 
Can they pay all the bills? <laughs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Here's the DVD. Das ist so krass, Leute, ey. Man muss sich mal vorstellen, sie kann sich nicht bewegen. Sie kann nur ihren Kopf bewegen. Aber sie kann gar nichts machen. Das sieht ein bisschen komisch aus mit den Beinen da. Und dann der Oberkörper. Das sieht irgendwie so aus, als ob die Beine einfach viel zu weit vorne stehen. Aber naja. <lacht> I can't believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No. I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Um... Ob sie Morphium abhängig ist? Könnte gut möglich sein. So, den sprechen wir mal an. Hey William, um, am I bothering you? Why yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? 
I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Ja, die Umstände können sich ja jederzeit ändern, wie wir festgestellt haben. Ich hoffe ja, dass wir die Chloe noch irgendwie äh, wieder auf die Beine kriegen. Äh, ja, ist eigentlich gar nicht lustig. Ähm, was wollte ich sagen? Ach so, ähm, mir ist aufgefallen, wir haben so viel verändert. Aber was sich nicht geändert hat, ist eigenartigerweise, dass die Rachel Amber trotzdem äh, verschwunden ist. Was ich ein bisschen komisch finde. So, guck mal, hier war eigentlich ihr Zimmer. Das ist bestimmt leer. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. <lacht> Liebe Joyce, danke, dass du mich auf dem Laufenden hältst, was Chloes Zustand betrifft. Ich kann mir die Mühen, die du und William durchleben, kaum vorstellen. Es tut mir so leid, dass ich äh, momentan nicht mit Geld aushelfen kann. Wie jeder andere gehe ich in meinen eigenen Arztrechnungen unter. Bitte gib Chloe einen Kuss von mir und alles Gute. Ich liebe deine also in Liebe deine Tante Dorothy. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Mm. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. Shoes. I never heard much about William's brother. 
Hi Bill, entschuldige, dass ich mich seit dem Unfall nicht gemeldet habe. Die Arbeit hat kein Ende und ich werde nach Salt Lake City zur Aufsicht über einen neuen Parkplatz versetzt. Heutzutage muss man dorthin, wo die Arbeit ist. Ich, wünsche, ich, ich wünschte, ich könnte dir einen größeren Scheck schicken, aber du kennst das ja. Niemand beschäftigt sich gerne mit Geld. Vielleicht besuche ich euch nächsten Frühling. Gib Chloe und Choice einen Kuss von mir. Halte durch, Billy. Dein Bruder, dein Bruder, dein Bruder, ja. Dein Bruder Aaron. Warum soll ich mich hier hinsetzen? I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Ja, das ist schon sehr, sehr krass. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Okay. Das ist alles sehr eigenartig. It is so nice to have you around. Die Uhr geht nicht. Sollen wir die Oma stellen? Geht nicht. So, ich werde jetzt hier garantiert nicht rumwühlen, wenn die Alte hier sitzt. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but... Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. <laughs> so, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors, 
Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Also ich glaube, die wollte uns gerade damit sagen, dass die Chloe so äh, Stück für Stück am Verenden ist. Also, dass es gut möglich sein kann, dass sie nicht mehr lange macht. Was auch sehr, sehr krass ist irgendwie. Nothing here. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. So, da speichert es auch ab. Ähm, ich weiß nicht, ob ich äh, das Morphium jetzt noch bringen soll. Ich mache es jetzt einfach. Wo war denn das? Nee. Ach so, genau. Hat der Raum auch vorher schon existiert? Ich weiß das gar nicht. Da habe ich gar nicht drauf geachtet. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo. But can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. 
We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Sorry nochmal, dass ich die Folge so überziehen muss, aber ich habe gedacht, es geht ein bisschen schneller mit Speichern. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo. Maybe I could. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Die, ist die bekloppt, Alter? Ich soll die gerade, ich soll die gerade umlegen, ne? Äh, nein. Chloe. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain. But I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm giving you the right. But Joyce. And William. I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you. But not like that. You have to believe me, Chloe. Why, Max? You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, I am never leaving you again. Sorry, William. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. <laughs> This is a keeper. Ja, Leute. Das ist das Bild, was uns, äh, was alles verändert. Und wir sind jetzt wieder in der Vergangenheit und werden wieder die Zeit komplett ändern. Chloe wird höchstwahrscheinlich wieder laufen können oder es kommt alles ganz anders. Und ja, keine Ahnung. Ähm, ich hoffe, euch hat die Folge Spaß gemacht. Ich finde es mal wieder sehr krass, dass wir jetzt wieder zurückreisen und mal sehen, was in der nächsten Folge passiert. Ich hoffe, ihr schaltet wieder ein. Bis zum nächsten Mal.